Greetings, and welcome to Indeed's Moments in Indigenous Education, which focuses on historical facts which have been omitted or forgotten. Please join us for today's topic. Today's topic, Indians and slavery. Most people don't realize that the beginning of the transatlantic slave trade was when the indigenous people of the Caribbean islands were forcibly exported by Christopher Columbus to be used as slaves in Spain. Enslaving the indigenous people was legalized by the Pope, who declared the act to be in accord with the laws of God and man, and justified it on the ground that Indians could otherwise not be reclaimed from idolatry and converted to Christianity. Because of the Pope's approval, many royal decrees were written which allowed the enslaving of the indigenous people of the Americas. For example, in 1504, a royal decree stated that rebel Indians were to be enslaved, with a portion of the slaves to go to the government. Ponce de Leon's decree in 1512 provided that the Indians he found should be distributed as slaves to the members of his expedition. And in 1523, Lucas Vasquez de Ayan's decree allowed him to purchase prisoners of war from the Indians and to employ them on his farms or export them as he saw fit. Indian slavery in the Americas began with Columbus on the islands, continued on to the United States mainland, and continued throughout the colonization of the United States. By the way, most of the exploring expeditions which captured and kidnapped slaves were financed by men like Ponce de Leon and Lucas Vasquez de Ayan, who became wealthy utilizing Indian slaves. You have just finished watching Indeed's Moments in Indigenous History. Please join us next time. Peace.